All right, now what are we gonna do? Well, let's service this front end, shall we? Okay, you're gonna have a 13 16 sitting right here, and you'll see in the picture. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and drain the oil out of it. Okay, takes just a little bit. Oop, oop. It's milky, We're looking a little poopy. Okay, it's got a film on it, some sludge. It doesn't look too bad, nothing big, just normal little grinds. So we'll clean it up, get ready to put it back in. Look at that, all cleaned up, all that nasty funk out of there. Up here is a 10 millimeter for the plug. It's a little awkward to get to. washer put it off to the side and I know you can't see it but there'll be a picture so we got to go after the little viewport just like the one in the back it is also a 10 millimeter okay we'll just go ahead break it free okay and it has a little washer with it too now we got everything open, drained. Now what we can do is go back and put this in. Torque this to 23 foot pounds or 276 inch pounds. servicing. There's our service port and there's our viewport. We put our fluid in here and see it come out there. And we will be servicing with 8090 weight. Per the specs of the Suzuki maintenance manual, it's GL5. Once you see it coming out of the viewport, you know you're full. Some people will make a mistake and think that they need to top it off here. No, that is not where you need to do it. Okay. Torque for the view plug is six foot pounds or 72 inch pounds. Okay? And it is 10 millimeter. The service plug is 25 foot pounds or 300 inch pounds. Okay? It is also a 10 millimeter, but it's the hex head. When you're installing your hex head, make sure it's fully seated all the way in, okay? It's kind of hard and awkward, but try to get it straight as possible. 
so you don't get no bound up. All right. Now that you have everything torqued, your three, you have your service port, your observation port, and your drain. Now that you've got everything, look around, see if you see any drips or anything before you go riding. When you're ready to put your protector on. It's two 10 millimeter screws. Being this is plastic and this is all beat up, don't torque it, just snug it. Okay. All right, everybody, what we got today? Well, right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and service the rear end on this. Okay, you'll have three bolts, two tens, one here, one over here, and then you will have another hex head sitting up here. And up here, you'll have a six millimeter hex head. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these out, shall we? Down off the side, off the side, your shield comes out, and you got access. Here's your fill port, your visual port, and your drain port. You have access to the ports. What I recommend is if you can, go in and clean out your hex heads so that you can make sure that your hex head is securely inside so it doesn't have a chance to wobble because it will strip them out seated. First I'm going to go ahead and loosen up the top. Okay, got that broke loose. I'm going to come down here. Make sure I'm seated. Break that loose. And go ahead and unscrew it. Let's see. That's not too bad. Regular 8090 weight stinks like hell. Now to speed up the process a little bit, you can go ahead and open up the top port. You'll notice that the washer is still there. So I'm not going to mess with it right now. I'm going to let it drain. And go ahead and take out the 10 millimeter bolt for visual. recommends putting in a new one in the manual but I've also reused these before and never had a problem so let it make sure it's completely drained check and make sure that the actual plug check and actually make sure that the plug is good clean off any debris dirt what have you Go ahead and reinstall. Get it in there, support it, because you also do not want it to go ahead and start kind of leaning. You want it as much straight as you can. It is 24 foot pounds. Okay, we are there. We're going to go ahead and service. Now, per Suzuki's manual, it requests that you use GL5 8090 weight for the oil. It also depends on the temperature that you're at. Okay. Let's do it. Go ahead, put your bolt back in, and tighten down. And now, put in the top service plug. Now you are ready to torque. Your visual service port is 84 inch pounds or seven foot pounds. Go ahead, tighten it down. 
your upper service is still 24 foot pounds. Now, remove everything around it. Now that everything is clean and you've checked to make sure that you don't have any visual drips or anything, go ahead and put in your protective shield. Start with the six millimeter hex head bolt up front. You'll have to tuck it up into the frame. For right now, you just wanna get it started. Come back here. Grab your two 10 millimeter headed bolts. They go on each side. And you are done. Front is snug, the two shields are snug. Go out road check, make sure that you don't have any leaks or any drains. And always make sure that you, when you go out and ride, that you keep your uh, shield clean so that if anything does at least it can drain and not pool inside the shield all right this is trav i hope the video has helped you if you got any questions let me know